Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and this is your 16 personalities starter guide. Perhaps you took the MBTI test and you got the result ENFP or perhaps you got the result ISTP. Now what do all the letters mean and how can you get started understanding your personal type and the personal types of your friends and family members? Now if you're obsessed about the 16 personalities and about the MBTI, don't forget to press subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Okay, let's start with the basics. Carl Jung discovered that there were differences in his patients. He discovered that some people were more introverted, oriented by the inner world. And some, he found, were extroverted, focused on the external world, what is happening around them. But what is an introvert and what is an extrovert really and how can you recognize and know if you're an extrovert or an introvert? I've found that introverts are people that like to take their time doing a task. Introverts are slow-paced, methodical types. Introverts are cautious, worried about the ex uh, results and the consequences of their actions. Introverts are people that get energy from spending time by themselves, fully devoted to one project or one idea. Extroverts are people that like to get things done. Extroverts are fast-paced, think fast, and make decisions quickly. Extroverts are people that get energy from spending time with other people or by going out or spending time in a new environment. As an extrovert, you're searching for information. You're gathering data. As an introvert, you are analyzing information, processing data. This should be no surprise to you, but the I in the MBTI test stands for introvert and the E stands for extrovert. Beyond that, we have four specific dichotomies we want to talk about. Introversion and extroversion, intuition and sensing, feeling and thinking, judging and perceiving. The intuitive and the sensory types are two different distinct types. The intuitive is the type that is oriented by ideas. They like having conversations about what-ifs and possibilities. They are opportunity-oriented. They are creative. They focus on what could be rather than what is. They refrain from or even rebel against traditions and norms in society. They find new ways to live and they challenge and question existing ideas and beliefs. The sensor is a type that gets energy from and enjoys practice and experience. They like having a consistent routine. They like living an active and rich life. They're more focused on action than ideas. They prefer doing than talking. The sensors are people that value practical experience, hands-on experience. They like to immerse themselves in an experience fully. They like to work and do things with their hands. They like to feel they are fully in touch with themselves and their body and with their environment. They are present, focused on what is here and now, what is rather than what could be. Feeling types are types that focus on emotions, values, and your experience of life. What does life mean to you? What is important to you personally? What are you feeling or experiencing at the moment? The feeling types are types that focus on and enjoy talking about emotions. They like having vulnerable conversations about things like what they feel and what they want and what is important to them in life. They seek purpose, identity, character, and morality. The feeling types want to live a life that is oriented by the self and by their own emotions and their own experience. They make decisions based on what they want rather than what is rational or realistic. The thinking types are types that focus on reason rather than feeling. As a thinking type, it's more important to you to know that things are going to work out. You want things to have a clear plan, a clear structure, a clear set of rules or principles to follow. Life should follow a set of rules or some kind of logic. Life should not be predictable, <laughs> should not be unpredictable. Life should not be unpredictable. Life can be explained. You can explain what is going to happen, what are the elements, fundamental dynamics that make out life. As a feeling type, you don't need to explain everything. If you feel it, that's enough. 
You have plenty of beliefs that you can't back up with data, but you know they are true because you feel it in your heart. As a thinking type, you reject things that you just feel. You need explanations, you need a reason, you need an argument to believe in something. As a thinking type, you search for data and evidence. Finally, let's talk about the judging and perceiving types. Judging types are goal-oriented. They think about what's next. They focus on their future. They are organized. They are disciplined. They think about how to make things happen. They see things following a series of events. They work from step to step to step in one single order. They think about and focus on one thing at a time. They seek to get things done before they start up new projects. Perceiving types, they like to keep things open-ended and possible. They like to juggle and see what changes they could make in the moment. They like to keep decisions open. They like to see, okay, what changes can I make in this moment? They like to make decisions based on what they feel is right in that situation. As a perceiving type, you're spontaneous and you're focused on how to implement ideas or how to put things together here and now. What can I do with what I'm thinking about right now? Who can I talk to? What can I say? What can I uh, start out with here and now today? There are 16 personalities, each a specific combination of all these four traits. There are introverted, intuitive, thinking, judging types, or INTJs for short. There are extroverted, sensory, feeling, and perceiving types, or ESFPs for short. But beyond that, there is a final dichotomy, a final dynamic, turbulent or assertive. The turbulent type is a type that experiences a higher level of neuroticism. If you feel that you often doubt yourself, if you feel that your emotions are a bit up and down, If you feel that your energy is a bit inconsistent, if you feel that you experience mood swings, or that you feel a lack of confidence or a lack of trust in yourself, you're probably a turbulent type. The assertive type can also struggle with personal doubt, but the assertive type is more likely, more confident in themselves. They trust themselves and their own thoughts. Most of the time, they feel a a consistent energy. As an assertive type, you're free from that. Assertive types, they experience less mood swings, they are more emotionally stable, and they have a higher degree of confidence. They believe in themselves and trust in their own gut and in their own decisions. They listen to and honor themselves. They speak about themselves in a positive way. They tend to identify more with positive things about themselves, and they tend not to identify with negative statements about themselves. Assertive types are people that believe in and feel a high amount of energy. They are full of energy, full of life, full of passion. And nothing can stop them from expressing themselves and from living with that passion. The difference between A and T and the other four letters is that assertiveness and turbulence is going to change from day to day. You can develop to become more assertive. You can develop to trust yourself more. Actually, the goal of the 16 personalities is to teach you how to be a happier, healthier version of yourself. Carl Jung believed that there were many healthy differences between individuals. You can be an introvert or an extrovert, and it's all going to be okay. It's all fine. These things are just normal, natural. Assertiveness and turbulence is different. Assertiveness is a measure of health. It's a measure of emotional stability. You can develop to become more assertive, you can develop to become more confident, and your goal should always be to find self-acceptance, trust, and confidence in who you are. I believe in using the MBTI to take control of your life. Create a work environment that matches with your needs. If you feel like your work is too demanding, if you feel like your relationships take too much energy from you, if you feel like your life doesn't live up to your values or your needs, find a way to make that happen. Find a way to make your life match with who you are. Find a way to create relationships and to connect with people as yourself. I'm not saying you need to change your friends. I'm not saying you need to change your job. 
I'm saying you have, need to have conversations with other people about boundaries. I'm saying you need to talk to your boss about what you love and what you're passionate about. And I'm saying you need to find ways to be yourself and to do what you love at every time of the day. Finally, I know that a lot of people feel that they are somewhere in the middle on these scales. There are lots of types that fall somewhere on the middle on introversion and extroversion. There are several types that fall on the middle on sensing and intuition. There are several types that fall on the middle of feeling and thinking. And similarly, of course, there are people that fall on the middle of judging and perceiving. If you're a mid-runner, you're not abnormal. There's nothing strange about feeling like you're a bit ambiverted or feeling that you are able to be both logical and emotional at the same time. Some people have strong preferences on these scales and some people have less strong differences on these scales. And we're going to talk more about those people in the next video. If you want to know more about these midrunners or why some people are in the middle, leave a comment down below and of course don't forget to like and share this video. Now, if you enjoyed this 16 personality starter guide, do for, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and for notifications when new videos are out.